welcome back to my channel, Easy Ed Tech. My name is Jin, and I'm a high school teacher in New York, just outside the city. In this video, I'm going to show you the best fonts that Google has to offer, at least in my opinion. Feel free to chime in in the comments with yours. I'm sure there's tons that I'm not even aware of. But one thing that Google's really lacking is fonts. You can do a lot more with PowerPoint where you can add your own fonts and Google doesn't have that capability. But there are a lot of fun fonts in slides and docs. And so I'm gonna show you a few of my favorites. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you do, please take a moment to like and subscribe. Let's get to it. So here's a list I compiled of the fonts that I like from Google, from slides and docs. So for example, Roboto, this is actually my favorite. It's the one that I use the most often. It's the one that Google uses. So like up here where you see the word Google fonts where I named the doc, that is in Roboto. So what I do is I highlight my text and I go to my list of fonts. I use this one all the time. So it's right here on my recently used fonts. And that's what Roboto looks like. This is Frederica the Great. And Frederica the Great is a fun one. It looks like chalkboard writing. So I set up a Google slide. This is Frederica the Great. I just put it on an image of a chalkboard, uh, turned the font color white, and made a big font. So this is what Frederica the Great looks like uh, as chalkboard writing. So Lex and Deca is a great one because it is one that Google has made specifically for readability. Um, so if you have kids that are struggling with reading, Lex and Deca is a really good font to use. So this is one that I like a lot and I used often. So again, I'm just gonna highlight that text, scroll down, and I've got Lex and Deca right here in my font list. So this is what it looks like. It's very readable. It's good for reading fluency. And so this is one you definitely want to use if you've got struggling readers. So this is quicksand. I also like quicksand a lot. And you can see I've made a list of a lot of different fonts. I'll put this list in the comments so you can check it out. And I just want to show you one more thing. I want to show you how to find fonts if you don't have them in your font list. Oswald is also a really good one. I like that one a lot. So you can see I've gone through a lot of fonts. And let's try one more. Let's go to more fonts. So just, to, just I just did that really quickly, but you just click here on the font list, click on more fonts, and all the fonts are here. So you can go by different categories. You can go by display or handwriting or monospace, whatever you're looking for. So you just click on the font and there it is. So that's how you can find any fonts that you want. Um, if some of you may have heard of the add-on extensus fonts, that's, if you can't install that, that's fine because all the fonts that are in extensus are also right here in the more fonts menu on Google. So there you go. That's how you find all the fonts you want. And again, please tell me in the comments about any fonts that I missed. This is a long list, but I'm sure there's ones that I'm not even familiar with. So put them in the comments so I can check them out. I'll put this document into the description box so you can check out all these different fonts on your own and see which ones that you like and you might want to use in your classroom. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And of course, don't forget to tell all your teacher friends about it. See you soon. Thank you.